Hello Galaxy of Heroes. So this is Yorkie. Uh, I didn't start from the main screen, I should have done. But this is Yorkie's second round of Grand Arena Championships. Um, immediately, what I should say is that York won his first round. Uh, I think he won by about 40 points. Um, yeah. Amazingly, um, the crappy Newt squad that I put in on the front row held for two, and that's what did it. That, that got me the win. Uh, so this is round two, um, first battle. Uh, this I, I judged this to probably be the strongest squad and opted to go Night Sisters just because we're the Tails in lead. Um, because I've got the revives there. No one's dying whilst zombie is in play. So, um, yeah, it still gets funky, but trying to get rid of the big damage dealer. Scav Ray is definitely uh, a big damage dealer. Want her gone and yeah, just working through now using letting plague do its thing they're not going to get too much in the way of healing anymore i really should switch there to bb never mind now i do with the foresight up but it avail avails it naught because we did it and on to the last one now uh so we've got the first win and I knew that I wasn't going to score too much in the way of banners. Um, as Night Sisters perform better with no protection anyway. And you know, that just speeds them up. So, yeah. But we got the win. That was the important bit. 54 points on the board. And apologies in advance. There is some dithering here uh, while I decide who we're gonna hit next. So uh, yeah, I think it's the lead later on the Bosk there. Uh, so we've got Bosk Bounty Hunters. We've got what looks to be a pretty strong uh, Jedi squad there under a Bastilla Shan lead. Um, and we've also got this Sith squad here. Again, looks fairly strong. I, I, Yorkie doesn't have too much depth of roster um so i i think this um, yeah well you'll see what i opt to do um the only problem if if i speak any further we'll discover the outcome prior to the battle but i'm going to throw in hermit yoda and I do believe I'm going to put in a gear nine thrawn. So let's have that. In we go. Um, the, there were a couple of issues here for me. Um, him, Darth Nihilus, being one of which it was like, how do I combat that? The best way to combat Darth Nihilus, uh, as far as I'm aware is Chewy because Chewy just ignores everything although I don't have all the Zeta I only have one Zeta on my Chewy I'm just realizing as I'm doing the voiceover but even so um Chewy yeah Chewy just um helps cut through Nihilus and we're Man it well, we were managing, so we've lost Han already. Boo! And now Nihilus has done force drain, but we got Nihilus down before he could be too bad. Um, and now we're in trouble again because, um, yeah, we're down to Chewy against three Sith. Not a good way to be, especially with. Dukes there, and that Duke's quite a well geared Dukes, I believe. I've got a gear 12 Vader here, and we're in 
bother again. We still stand it up. Yeah, ability blocked. That lead has given us that we've been able to do some countering. It's a gear 11 Dukes. I can't remember if he's got the, I don't think he's got the Zeta actually. I'll take that. This battle probably, uh, spoiler alert, will cost, will cost me the round. But I'll take that considering what I went in with. And Palps is a decent. And yeah, we're going against the Terry's squad here. Um, for anyone not as old as me and from the UK, Terry's, Terry's all gold. Uh, it was a chocolate brand, or it still is a chocolate brand, I believe. A uh, range of chocolates. Anyone from Terry's listening? Um, yes, please, I'll have some free samples for plugging your product. Uh, so here we go in with my triumvirate. So we've got the triumvirate slap in Bastilla and gear seven, Sith Assassin. Um, who are we going against? Oh yeah, we're going against the Terry Squad, aren't we? So this is against the uh, the Jedi. So basically, this is just a, a waiting game battle. Um, just waiting for um, Nihilus's Annihilate to be ready. And then we can just get rid of Jody and then carry on our merry way. I don't know why I'm breaking up my speech like that. So, yeah, that's all I'm going to be doing here is... I should have, If I can learn how to edit, I will start to speed through these, um, these bits here. And we're whittling away at the protection at least. I don't understand why they're not... Is it because they're... Uh, just the, the buffs and everything that we've got, all the debuffs on them. Because they're not really making too much. Damn it, I think this is Treyas leader. Yeah, so they are down by one. And that one is the Reviver. Put a couple of big hits into Grandmaster Yoda. Nice little four cooldown boost to annihilate Ezra's not looking too healthy um, when we're trying to beat a Jedi squad that's a good thing it's only a bad thing when he's our squad member Ezra is down repeat down we're keeping the protection up as well Annihilate, gotta love it. So we're whomping up um, <clears throat> our health, our protection, and just trying to work our way through all of this, or if we can, there's only one of them there. He's always gonna be debuffed, so we're always gonna reduce Nias's Annihilate by one each time he does the drain force but uh yeah we're not gonna get there are we boom 60 points though yay wasn't expecting that still think that um that rebels is gonna cost me though so that's the win there so we've got phoenix in the rear wall there uh, we, well, it's, it's semi Phoenix with a, an old Ben kicker. It's not too worrying. Uh, potential there for maybe an undersized squad battle. Uh, this one here is the Bounty Hunters, and I'm opting to go with my Galactic Republic. Um, yeah, so uh, I've got. 
even though she's only gear eight, I believe there, Barris Hoffy, she does have the Zeta and we're under a General Kenobi lead because York doesn't have Padme, but there is a Zeta on General Kenobi. There is a Zeta on Barris and there's also one on Ahsoka and of course on the Froggy, AKA Grandmaster Yoda. So we've got two 12s coming in from uh, Mr. Beardy. We also have a second two 12 coming in when Barris does a hill. And we've got a third two 12 if we can get Ahsoka to do her spinny kicky thing on anyone that she doesn't wipe out on her own. Yeah, that's a bit dodgy there, because he will, I, I think I really push my luck in regards to Boba. Um, ignore Boba at your own peril. If he gets one of those shots off and it connects, you're a man down, even with a reviver, you're still a man down. You ain't going back from that. Um, yeah, so let's get rid of him. There you go. So, as I said there, so she she did her spinny heel, but she took him out on her own, so there was no assists there. But I just didn't really want to risk allowing him to have a second shot because he will pick anyone He, because of course he's going to ignore oh actually no he didn't have Bounty Hunter's Resolve so he would have gone for Mr Beardy afterwards as long as Mr Beardy was taunting of course so we're down to Bosk gear 12 um, I knew again that I wasn't going to finish this with max health max protection possibly max health I uh, don't think I'm getting max protection and Bounty Hunters just do too much damage to normally allow for that but we can get the health that double attack there there you go so we lost some protection just there um, and boom 57 points but we cleared them 100k in the bank what's behind them what is behind them I've forgotten I think it might actually be a... Oh, no. And behind them are uh, a wedge lead um, rebel squad. So now it's a case of let's see if we can uh, max one of these out. Actually, I may have just skipped over something there. I'm not sure. It would help if I actually watched the uh, the recording more closely. But too late. We're into this. And let's get through to the end. So um, yeah, uh, again, I'm not going to risk. I've got an undersized squad though, because I'm going for the bonus points. And. Uh, I slapped in Scavray because, as I said earlier, she hits hard. So um, let's see how hard she can hit. Um, ability block on Chirrut. And Chirrut's down. Yay. On to Wedge. Wedge down. Woo. Good start. Doing a bit of a pillock here. Ice cream. I'm sure if I can hear it, I'm for. I'm sorry. It's yeah. I'm sorry. So on to a Sako Tano Fulcrum. So, she desperately needs 
reworking considering 60 points though sorry um considering all the hype before she arrived and you know she really has kind of fallen into obscurity a bit like visa smara as well but uh yeah so <clears throat> there we go there enemy defeated We've got three feats, though. Yay! So, we've got the Bronzian promotion. Let's take the whatever that was. We've got the Exert Control, because we inflicted a debuff 200 times in Grand Arena. Uh, missed that, but apparently we did. Let's have that. And, of course, Bronzian promotion. Yay! Yorkie got promoted before Mike did. And we've still got one more territory to go there, so let's uh, click on that claim here. And we'll have all these goodies. Thank you very much. Yeah, Chromium will be a while. And the rewards look, you know, obviously that bit better. So, that's me pressing the wrong button. Yay. Time for Lieutenant Dan. Definitely for the Lieutenant Dan now. Oh, wow. So, into <laughs> the final battle. Thank you, Ice Cream Man into the final battle um, and we're going to go here for uh, an undersized squad so we can uh, get that reward as well because I believe we only need one more to get the five of those um, and um, get the ability block on Sabine that's good because we don't want that shred going really and now if we can get rid of the Mr. Days uh, not that they actually assist too much, but um, there we go. Popped the contract, yippee ki a. And if anyone's dazed, you want it to be boss because he's going to cleanse as soon as he uh, taunts. So, come on. You know, I'm finding a new liking for Sabine. I've I've used her a reasonable amount on on my main account. Uh, I've got the Zeta on her. Um, she does do, yeah. She she was my go-to for when um, my uh, Chirrut was out below my CLS. So I lost the the buffs and everything that that Chirrut would provide. But at least I kept guarded on CLS. I'm just time filling here as we get through and so now we're down to Obi, he gone two, boom 61 points there so it's all down to where how, how much that rebel battle is going to cost me um grats to my opponent he put down a far stronger squad than i or defense than i did but then again he has a, a slightly better developed roster i think i might have him on ships but that doesn't do me any favours whatsoever when ships aren't involved in here. But there we go. We got Know Thy Enemy. Win five Grand Arena battles with an undersized squad. So let's have that additional coinage and the additional um, GAC points or whatever. Um, so, yeah. Now you're thinking, what's going on here? Why are we looking at this? This uh, is a speeded up battle. Um, this is uh, me just messing around, well not messing around actually, there is an actual point to this uh, which is that I need to kill, I think I needed to kill two people, was it, two tunes, with a Galactic Republic ship or tune in either arena or ship arena or in either arena. That would have that would have sufficed there, wouldn't it? So that's what I'm doing here. Is I'm just trying to kill two tunes. Um, I didn't really think. In fact, I probably should have pushed it, but never mind. I didn't. 
um, and then I'm trying to focus down on Jody is yeah just a lesson in abject misery but what he did do is he brought me back a slightly easier target to get uh, which was Revan yay got Revan uh, I wish I could speed this up even more get close to if I'd have got Jody if only yes uh, suffered that woe as did look at that he's on oh actually do I get him I think I, yeah I did get him okay couldn't remember but all of this was just so that and unfortunately he's going to whiz through because it's on two times speed um, all of this was just to um, get the additional challenge in the Grand Arena Championship so there you go and then we're going to swing over and this is going to blast through really quickly so I will say thank you very much for watching and I look forward to bringing you round three however it turns out on the end of this one if it's for the title or runners up or whatever thank you for watching